And welcome to your Go Market Update Charts of the Day for Friday the 26th of May 2023. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Go Markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets today. If we look across the news, it was a mixed session on Wall Street overnight. We sort of expected this with NVIDIA posting such good earnings after the bell the previous day. And as a result, NVIDIA jumped 25% to the upside with other semiconductors and the Nasdaq generally benefiting significantly. The Dow closed near neutral. The S&P 500 was in between the two. Uh, no solid progress on debt ceiling negotiations and this is getting awfully close to the wire. The Republicans still standing firm on their demands to allow it to pass through Congress. US futures are mildly lower in Asia as a result of that indecision. Asian markets are also mixed. We are seeing the ASX holding on to 0.1% gains tech the outperform again. European futures are pointing to a near neutral open and the VIX is holding steady just below 19, although it has obviously increased throughout the week on the back of lack of debt ceiling negotiation progress. US dollar also moved higher again, confirming the breach of the 200 EMA. A result, we saw some weakness in gold again, and it's testing February price levels at this stage. Copper edged higher ever so slightly above those seven-month lows, which were reported yesterday. And oil failed to hold its breach of resistance and dropped back into the short-term trading range. It's been in for a couple of weeks. Bitcoin managed to hold on to the critical 26,300 by its fingernails and still looks fairly precarious where it is right now. On the data front, We've had Japanese CPI already out. Uh, that was soft and the Nikkei is once again the outperformer in Asia as a result. Later on, we've got UK retail sales out. And in the US this evening, we've got US durable goods. But obviously, the highlight is the year on your PCE data. That's due later. That's the Fed's favourite inflation measure. Uh, but of course, debt ceiling negotiations will remain the major story. And undoubtedly, markets will be even more unhappier if there is no progress. A couple of charts of core eye today. Oh, we're looking at TNE uh, technology one, which again we referenced yesterday, and you can see how strong that is still looking. And we had a $17 price target on it. That may even push higher. This and WTC are the two outperforming technology stocks of the week on the ASX, both worth a look at. Uh, on the Forex front, there's very little to shout about at this stage. Markets have been pretty flat all day. Uh, the GB pound Kiwi interests us, uh, particularly if it breaches through this pivot level. You can see it's at 203.11. If we do breach to the downside, we could get a move down to 202.20. Uh, there may be a pause about halfway along the line, but this is certainly one that's caught our eye today, uh, but needs to do some work. It may be those retail sales numbers coming out of the UK this afternoon that will move this one way or the other. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.